Hi! Today I'm going to show you how to play I Go To Rio. This is uh, the song written by Peter Allen uh, in about mid-70s and then uh, arranged by Tommy Emmanuel. Um, I strongly recommend you check out the original version on YouTube with Peter Allen uh, playing the piano, singing and dancing. This is uh, the piece with great positive energy that will leave a huge smile on your face. And I think that uh, Tommy did a great job capturing this energy. Uh, now, it's not an easy song. This is definitely not for beginners. And uh, unless you are some guitar genius, uh, even if you are advanced, it still will take you a long time before you will be able to play it in a nice fast tempo but uh, I think it's worth it and I think that if you give it a go and give it your hard work you'll be able to master this song good luck <laughs> I go to Rio, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I played this song at about 150 beats per minute. Uh, and this is the tempo that Tommy used on uh, his live uh, CD and DVD from Center Stage. Uh, still, there are some performances of his on YouTube where you can hear him play it at 180 and maybe even faster. So it's quite crazy. <laughs> what? he can do with this song. Um, there are some free tabs uh, you can find on the net uh, made by Tommy's fans and you can find two versions on the site uh, tommyemmanuel.wordpress.com in the section Tabok. Uh, so both of them combined with this video uh, should allow you to work this song out. Mm, when you start, first you should learn all the positions and learn to play the piece smoothly but very very slowly. Then you can gradually uh, start building the tempo while smoothing out all the tensions in your hand. If you want to play it at the tempo that Tommy does, even at his worst day, <laughs> uh, you will have to get rid of all those tensions and play it with your hands really relaxed. This is the only way. 
So, first figure out the song and then slowly, slowly play it faster. And in time you will get it. Let's have a look. The most characteristic thing in intro is this motion. You get it by using this shape and by covering uh, the 6th fret of 4th string with your 1st finger. So now when you raise your 3rd finger you have this sound. So, at the beginning there is a slide which you should do uh, maintaining this position. And right into this pattern. It's uh, played with your uh, thumb and two fingers and it goes like this. Now you have to look out so that you don't muffle the 6th uh, fret of 4th string with uh, the 2nd or 4th finger so, so that it is clean. Ok, so after the last hit you go into the E13 and the melody starts with a uh, pull-off, so... Now here, when you switch from E to A, you go through the first fret make a sort of a slide with two or even three of your fingers. So so that you slide into this A. And uh, the next part is is this uh, new voice that is introduced here it goes so it's and first it's played by fingers here on third string and then it's actually a part of boom chick so that a lot of those sounds are actually uh, played by both uh, first and second finger on in this case third and second string but uh, you have to make sure that the melody note is played a little louder than the harmony note so actually played all the time with double stops. So you play the theme twice and after the second time it goes to A13 which could also be uh, thought of as G, G major 7 with uh, A in the bass. So the boom trick is 
melodies. While the melody sort of uh, recon deconstructs this chord from the third string. Because you play this little section four times in the song, you can uh, alter it a little each time by some pull-offs. And different rhythmic patterns. Uh, so... So and then into this uh, F with G in the bass. flat 5 and then it goes uh, to this lick played by the thumb and fing first finger uh, and it goes like this from the second string uh, you actually hold it this note before so finger thumb finger on first string thumb on second finger on first thumb on second, finger on first, so it's and at this point you raise your uh, third finger and go from the sixth fret of uh, third string, slide, pull off, normal note, pull off, so That's uh, tempo 80 beats per minute. And it goes back to the main team. Uh, now, the second time we play the tune, uh, this part is different. It is and here you don't cover just the second string with your first finger but also first so you lay it flat and you get this strong vibration by moving the neck uh, forwards and backwards so is the same. So after this run you go back to the main theme. So it's and now uh, 
comes this flashy slide. So it's it's done on the fifth string with second finger. And after it comes the hits on the sixth string. So sharp half diminished now it's uh, G7 uh, flat 5 and uh, F minor 7 so and then comes this uh, band on the fourth fret of uh, the third string with your sorry, with your uh, third finger. So and uh, after it comes uh, F sharp uh, minor six. Now, uh, when you play it for a second time, instead of you go so it's uh, so it's on the second and fourth fret with your second and uh, third finger with your first and third finger these are hammer-ons and this is a slide back and forth so and back to uh, F minor 6 so here it goes and uh, this is uh, this is F uh, 7 flat 5 goes first string so it's and the boom tree goes so it's so after this you can either go a slide or if you want to make it with uh, the hits you should fit uh, six of them so and on the next beat uh, comes a harmonic on six string uh, 12 fret so After 
the harmonic comes an intro, so... comes the most entertaining part of the piece. Now, uh, this lick is played with your uh, thumb and index finger and incorporates a lot of pull-offs. It goes like this. So, uh, you can divide it into the groups that are uh, similar in terms of working with your right hand so it's a note with index finger then pull-offs to the open string then on the second string uh, with your thumb and then you go back to the first string with your uh, first finger So. So these are pull-offs and this is pull-off. Then you repeat this but on the lower uh, sets of strings there are only two pull-offs in the first group. So, so. Uh, right hand works like this. here is four and here is only three notes and up there uh, also only three notes so four notes are only on the first string so very slowly goes uh, with your uh, with your fourth third and first finger fourth finger and first doing pull off now fourth first pull off into open string now third on the ninth fret and again first pull off now third first pull off to open and in this point it goes like this to an empty but instead of going here you go so you go to the fourth position This note that you just pulled here with your uh, pinky again. So and uh, here you play uh, uh, pull off with your index finger and then simple pull offs with uh, fourth and third finger. So. So in groups uh, now the problem is that uh, those groups uh, don't fall uh, in the beat they are actually off the beat uh, so that the beat often comes uh, for example at the weak part at the pull off um, so in or order to maintain the beat, for example, with tapping of your foot during uh, playing of this lick, you have to learn where are the beats. So now I will play it uh, in groups uh, that uh, fall under the beat. Uh, it may sound a little weird. So first group, second, 
next Remember that you should uh, tap your foot at the beginning, uh, at the first note of each group. So. I will play it with a metronome now. The second lick is uh, has the same construction as first, but it's played in the different uh, position. So after playing, starts in fifth position and again for uh, for notes on the first string but this time it's pull offs with uh, third second and first finger so now here you have to move your hand one fret up so from here to here So now it goes uh, uh, pull-offs over four frets with first and fourth finger. Now uh, this is similar to this point. So with your uh, third finger. You place your third finger uh, in the same fret where the, your first was. So so again very slowly. now in groups and finally in groups uh, to let you know where the beat is so Now I will play the whole lick for you with the metronome. So you hear that this goes uh, directly on the beat. hold this section for you very slowly.
now after this last note of the second lick it goes E then F uh, F minor 7 then G minor 7 and uh, sorry uh, F sharp minor 7 G minor 7 and uh, finally G sharp minor 7 so you can play it with your fingers or by hitting uh, strumming so after the first time it goes and back to the repetition of uh, whole the song and second time so uh, if you have mic on your guitar then it should give a nice uh, sound especially good when you have a lot of bass and uh, some reverb so that when you hit it then all this uh, stays for a little bit I will show you and this is it as I hope you hear by now uh, aside from few really difficult places this song isn't uh, some incredible finger breaker so if you work uh, extra hard on those places and if you work uh, the whole thing out bit by bit uh, you should be able to play the whole thing at about 100 uh, beats per minute uh, fairly soon. It's another 50 or 60 beats that will take 99% uh, of your time with this song. You will have to work on each chord change, you will have to loosen all the tensions in your hands uh, and it will take a lot of time. I play this song for a few years now and I still have some work to do. Uh, but let me tell you, it's all worth it because now I can go to Rio each time I want. So, see you there.